What's up, everybody? Blaze the Hedgehog back again, playing Elite Dangerous, and um, change of plans. Slot change of change change of plans. Um, that center of the galaxy trip that we were going to take. Yeah, totally not going to take it yet. Uh, I actually found out some things that I didn't know before that didn't really exist in the game until now. So. Yeah, didn't take that into consideration, but apparently over time, your modules will break down, so yeah, that, and I didn't have any uh, field maintenance repair units, so yeah. So I came back and uh, outfitted to start trading, because I want to get the ASP very badly. But I don't really know how much money, like extra money, I should get before I buy the ASP. Oh, there's a lot of choppiness going on. Let me take a look at the video real quick. Make sure it's not too bad. Okay, we're back. Can't really tell in the video, but just in case, just to make my life a little bit easier, I guess I'll set my graphics to high instead of maxed out for 20 Blaze It. Freaking best graphics ever. PC Master Race. Uh, la 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 la. Presets. Hi with no anti-aliasing and I guess I should just give my honest opinion about anti-aliasing stuff like that um I kind of think it's pointless honestly I mean I guess it serves its purpose and that was a weird voice crack but um really like I, you don't ever notice it when you're like into a game and stuff and I mean, if you're if you notice it even then, like just 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 slowly grab your computer desk and, and just kind of push your chair back just a little bit, you know, relax your eyes, you know, take them off of the screen. At, when I say off, I mean back up away from the screen, just back up. Okay. Anyways, so we're gonna see what my cargo is. I don't think I have anything. I do not have anything. So, my friend found this really good trade route. I don't know how good it is compared to some trade routes that people have found, but I guess uh, if you're not too far in the game, this would be good. So we're going to get... Gold from here. Gold! Oh! Submit. Has high supply and no demand, so we're going to take all their gold and we're going to go to the Galaxy Map and then we're going to go to Navigation, Fastest Route. Displaying Map. Okay, calm down. Uh, and then we're going to go to. Where am I now? For Jira. Going to go to Terry. Terry, two jumps away. Ship released. Engines engaged. Retract landing gear. Retracting docking modules. So yeah, I was doing uh, a lot of bounty hunting actually because you know, bounty hunting really fun. Um, but I think I'm going to stop bounty hunting until I can. I get the ass. I'm not gonna be really focused on uh, that, or I'll get the vulture. I might get the vulture. I don't know though. I I really want like I could get the vulture right now, but I wouldn't be able to outfit it all the way. Engage frame shift. Jumping. Engage frame shift. Preparing for jump. But. Like, I just don't like the fact that it only has two hard points. I like how super maneuver Four, it is. Three, stuff. And it is two, two large one, points, engage. So it's kind of like. You know, it does a lot of damage and stuff. I don't, I don't really know. I kind of. I just really like the ASP a lot better. 
I mean, it's not going to be uh, as big as everything, but I think it will be a whole lot better to get it. Fuel scooping. Mainly because you can use it for everything. You can use it to trade, you can use it to explore, and you, you can use it to fight. I've seen people do it all the time, and it's just freaking amazing. It's just amazing. It's awesome. Awesome ship. And I love the way it looks. It looks so freaking bad a And from what I've seen, actually, like, fighting in it, um, actually does really good fighting. Just gonna sit here and get us some real fast. <clears throat> Um, the data I actually sold, or the, the data I sold, uh, I actually did get quite a bit of money from it. And I, uh, the furthest I got was like a thousand light years out um, from inhabited space. Uh, made it back in two days. And when I traded my data in, I actually got almost three million, three million credits just for going thousand light years out coming back so main plan I really want uh, to do when I get the ASP is uh, outfit it for fighting probably or I might just I might go ahead if I Fuel get enough money complete. and just get the voltage uh, voltage oh my gosh vulture and just go uh, bounty hunting with uh, my friend that really likes to fight in this game or I'll just disengaged. wait until I get the ASP and probably outfit it to go um, uh, exploring first. That way I can go explore and just get like a crap ton of straight profit money. And then probably do a little bit of trading. And then uh, start slapping some weapons on that bad boy. Engage frame shift. Engaging jump drive. Should be awesome. Big plans. Big plans. Four, three, two, one. Engage. thing I am going to say, I don't miss getting interdicted in, uh, in inhabited space. Definitely didn't miss that at all. It's so annoying. But it's awesome. Got some of that uh, extra footage to show now. Some awesome things I got to see. I mean, I didn't get to, I didn't go to like a uh, nebula or anything. Matter of fact, um, that makes me makes me remember um, reminds me that is I might actually just uh, see if my friend wants to get in a top six just go to one of the nebulas close by because that's that's close enough where we wouldn't we wouldn't actually have to get field maintenance units and, you know use them if if we get field maintenance units we might as well just go to the center and back but we go to one of the nebulas that are close by just to visit and get some awesome scenery that'd be pretty awesome Made me think we were gonna 
disconnect. Target. Target locked. Docking request granted. Flight assist off. Engines just stopped making sound for some reason. Flight assist on. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Profit is a hundred and fifty seven thousand. So that means ten trips is a million, pretty much. Well, probably under well, actually yeah, that would it'd be under ten because of the trip back. The fees submit. I still got good. We're gonna go back to after I like, launch first. Got some map. And now we're gonna go back to Regira. Shift. Charging frame shift drive. Four, three, two, one, engage. <clears throat> Actually, wonder. How much it costs to upgrade everything in the boat. I need to actually look that up because I really want that ship. It's a really good fighting ship. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. But I also want the ASP at the same time. I could actually buy it right now, but the thing is, if I bought it right now, I wouldn't have any money whatsoever. So, yeah. That's the problem. <clears throat> I think what I'll do if I can I'll probably 
I can get the ASP, and depending on how much cargo space it has, Four, I'll just keep it stock. Three, two, but I'll have, one, like, I'll get an extra, like, trade, I'll get some extra trades in, so I'll, I'll be able to afford, um, I'll be able to afford the insurance cost, and I'll be able to afford, like, a new whole load of cargo. We will see. I think they sell them here. <clears throat> and I should have enough to actually trade now. But we'll see. I'm not going to actually trade it now because I won't have enough money to get another load of cargo and I'll have to go bounty hunting and I really don't want to do that in a ship that I just bought. Especially what was it come with like two medium har or two small hard points? Maybe it comes with two medium. I don't know. <clears throat> Fact is I just wouldn't have enough money. So once I hit the point where I can actually buy, I need to do like two more trade runs. Which I think, because I came back and actually upgraded um, a lot of stuff in this ship. So I can have like super awesome jump range. I think if I sold all that stuff, I would actually have enough money to get the ass now. But we'll see. I'll see when I get there, and maybe I might be able to uh, decide on whether to do a little bit more trading that while having enough enough money to get a whole load of cargo, and then just continue my trading in the ass. Sounds like a plan. Request granted. Flight assist on. landing gear. Deploy landing gear. Is it going to do it? Deploy landing gear. Deploy landing gear. There it goes. Don't know my voice attack does that sometimes really Wish they would fix it, honestly. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Oh, I can't check here. I forgot they actually don't have a um, shipyard here. So we'll go to the next place. Performance enhancer. Flight 
flight assist on. Scan detected. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. So we'll look at the shipyard look uh, real quick. And I want to actually see what the ASP has on it. Uh, oh, so it actually has pretty much the same as the Viper except uh, extra small hard points. Okay, that makes sense now. Let's see what it comes with. Okay, so... That's not very much for trading. I thought it had more than a top six. I might be wrong. That and this, unless this is... Oh, so this is what it comes with. Okay. So, size internal components. So, I think this right here would probably be used for uh, another cargo rack. Hmm. Still don't have enough. I think I would, uh, I would if I sold the stuff that I have on my ship because I have about that much on my ship. <laughs> about that much right there. And the only thing that I've heard that really sucks about the Vulture is its power plant. It doesn't have a good power plant. Trading for now. I think we're selling gold here. Yeah. What about now? Yeah, because I had all that extra money just like gone. So shipyard. Ass. See, now I have enough for it. But, I need to be able to get a new load, so, I guess I'll trade about, I'll do four more complete runs. Engines engaged. Retracting docking modules. Docking successful. Engines disengaged.
already almost about to break another million. Most of this training I will be doing off camera until I get like the ass and what I want to do. Might just deck it out and just go by. Fuel scooping. I'm sure it cost an epic crap ton of money. So I'll probably have to trade with it for a little bit. Fuel scoop disengaged. I assume it'll cost about 2.5 to 4 million to completely kit it out. It's about 40 trips in it. Trading probably. <laughs> Don't know, but we'll see. Four, three, two, one, engage. But, uh, pretty much this is it. I just needed to make a video for you guys. But you know I'm still alive. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna continue the Let's Play on Earth War Gym, honestly, because I just... Feels I just can't thing. get into that game. And it's so... It's just so freaking annoying and hard. I'll try it, though. I'll just... I'll, scoop disengaged. I'll try it again. Probably soon. I guess I'll try it this weekend. But, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.